pretty sure we just spotted a car, not where we were expecting to find one. Oh my gosh, it is a car. There's no way that's not, that's definitely an upside down oh, vehicle. Yeah. Wow. What is that doing right there? Holy smokes. That is a crazy spot for a car. Those are his air bubbles coming up right there. So he's at the car right now. Oh, we got a Volkswagen deal. Wildlife resources. I guess he's got somewhere to go. Probably got somewhere to go. He was looking at us though, but he probably saw the boat and they're like, oh, that's official. Today we are continuing our search near Oak Ridge, Tennessee for missing person Regina Dawn Robinson. It's been 2019 when she went missing and we've been searching a lot for her over the past year. We have found lots of cars around Oak Ridge, around Knoxville, and uh, we have not found her yet and she's still missing to this day. There's a lot more onto her story if you guys want to do some research. I'm not going to go too into that. Today's going to be mostly searching the river up through Oak Ridge. We've searched a lot of these ramps before but we have better equipment now. I think we'll have a more thorough job and be able to really clear these areas. And we're gonna hit some spots that we've never been to as well. So we're gonna be on the river all day and hopefully we can find some answers to where she went missing. We got the rescue boat here. We got all our gear ready to dive. So like I got to saying, Jeremy, we, we've searched for her a lot. Yeah, we've been focusing a, a lot of our searches in Knoxville, but apparently she had an address connected to her in Oak Ridge. I found an address to her name in Oak Ridge, yeah. Which I don't, I mean, some of the information, sometimes it's not 100% true, but. I mean, it's something to go it's, off of. It's close enough and it, it matches, so I mean, I would assume she used to live there or she, she was living there. I mean, we found cars in this river before, so might find some more today, who knows. We just got in the water and we already spotted something that kind of looks suspicious. It might be an upside down vehicle. The other one looked a way better shot. We were right over at that time. I don't know what that is. Let's shrink her down to 80. That looks weird. I mean, dude, that kind of looks like upside down tires. Kind of. Man, it's tiny. It's only 27. Right, it's a little deep. Maybe that's sideways of the car, if it is a vehicle. The only problem with this boat is it is not a zero turn. It's like, go like, by the time I try to go back, I've already moved over 40 feet. I'll try to get a picture here in a second for y'all. We just, we just put in though, um, this spot. We've checked this a long time ago, but we didn't have the gear that we have now. So I think we'll get a better image of this thing. <coughs> we have the live. That might be a wheel, but I don't, I still don't think it's a vehicle. Could be a trailer. Dang, got some fishes around it. See that big thing swimming away? Maybe it's like a fish habitat. It could be. Golly, man. Whatever that is just came off of that. That's a good sized fish. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a fish habitat. It doesn't. Yeah. It kind of has the shape of. It's just too lumpy and stuff. I don't think it's a car. It had a frame like element, but it might be like a. Uh, it could a be frame a frame fish out, like something like. They made a frame and then attached like reef, or not reef, but plants. Man, I mean, I've seen stuff like that diving. It could just be some random. It's, like a, it's like a frame sort of fish thing. Then, okay, let's keep on going. So over here you can see there's another boat ramp. This one's a little smaller. And I know we searched this one quickly before. And there's another one down there. There's a lot of them everywhere. Yeah, there is. Then we gotta check by the roads. Eight feet here. We're gonna be hopping around all day, so I'm just gonna kinda check in at each boat ramp in each spot. I don't see anything yet. I'm kinda getting some wakes right here. So that's what it does to the sonar wakes, all these lines. It kind of messes up our reading a little bit. It's a tire. Show is. Like, it's been like six months since we've been here. Probably a little longer. It's however old Wrecked and Recovered is. Because we, yeah, <laughs> we filmed our first Wrecked and Recovered 
uh, video out, or near, we came here the next day, which is our team tow truck channel. We actually remove cars out the water. If you guys are watching and have not subscribed to that, please go do that, because it really helps us out. We're trying to grow that channel. And it's, it's a really fun channel. It's just recovering, cleaning up trash. <coughs> right, this boat ramp looks clear. Let's keep on going. Sure. All right, now we are at the next boat ramp. We're at a spot that we've never searched before, I believe. It's like, I think it's called Gin, or Gin Boat Ramp. It is getting a little shallow nearby, but there's a little bit of a road that goes over here, and then it's a guardrail, but you know, who knows when that guardrail is put in. I mean, it's just barely deep enough. Yeah, it's pretty shallow right here. We'll cruise by the boat ramp. So All right, we're passing the boat ramp right now. What is, is that anything right there below it? Casting a shadow at the bottom of the boat ramp? Hey man, that just looks like the, the rock pile that's always in there. Really rocky out here. Yeah, there's more ramps. We keep going up. Damn. This spot's clear, so let's keep on going. There's this uh, little opening by the road. I guess people fish right in here, but you could definitely put a car in. Here for that. What's that? Mm, that might be an upside down vehicle. What do you look like? Well, might be. What is that? That's some. Nothing on a car. Sure does look good on sonar. I don't know what we just went over. Big square thing. Might be a floating dock. I don't know. That other thing though, we need to check again. Oh yeah, we'll go back out there and check that. I'm just gonna clear this little area. I mean, it's actually deep enough back here. It'd be kind of wild if there's a vehicle here because it's barricaded off by the guardrail. I mean, rail. these guardrails look kind of... People have gotten over these guardrails. Course. It's happened. I've seen it. So we'll see what we can find. It's like an old boat ramp almost. Oh, those are just trees. Never mind. Ha! Ah, wishful thinking, I guess. Let's... I can make it around the tree. Alright, so we're busting out the uh, live. Bust out. And try to get a picture for y'all. No, that's it. That's it. Right there. Yeah, that's it. I think like an old floating dock or something. Yeah, you can see it right there, and then down here is what we're looking at. Solve that mystery. Yep, the mystery of the flat bottom with the whole thing in it. And then, uh... Upside down cars, man, look weird sometimes. They have the really old, too. All right, back out to the river. So we just went over, we're going pretty fast, but there's a, there's a sunken boat, it looks like. It's kind of stretched out there, but it's pretty cool. Got boats everywhere you can make content for. Lots of boats. Should we start pulling out boats out of the water, guys? I know y'all probably say yes, but Yay! I've never done it, so I don't know if it... it's just a it's just a piece of piece of yeah. It'd be so I feel easy. Like they're harder. I mean, they have hook like eye hooks on them, but I don't. Especially these little ones. They gotta be light as can be. Little ones are fine. Around. Yeah, but people want to see a bigger one. Big I, little I would whatever. See a big boat. Get a little aluminum boat pulling out pull super yachts. We'll smash it down to a cube and then recycle it. That'd be cool. We just found another little baby boat. Ooh, let's do this. Ready? Where is it? There it is. Look at that. Let's shrink it down a little. There we go. It's like a little. Is it a little bass boat or a little rowboat or something? I don't know. It's got like a square in the center of it. Maybe there's a tiny like one seats. man seat, maybe? Maybe. We're right underneath this bridge. That's Making cool. our way up past Oak Ridge. There's another boat ramp and a road over that way. Yeah, we're coming up here, and it's like a long walking way. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just spotted a car, not where we were expecting to find one. I got the live scope too, if you want to throw it out. Well, let's see if we can find it. We just scanning this bridge like I was showing you guys. I think we come across a car. It sure looked like one. It did. Like I was turning though, so I was like, man. I would get buck fever, but. I shrunk it down to 80. I was shooting 100, so we'll see what that was. Uh, was that it that I saw? I think so. It still has two. That's those look like wheel shadows. It does. I think that's a car, man. Look at mine. I mean, you can I see. I mean, dude, that that looks like it's on this side of the pillar, though. How could it have floated down and got there? 
seems like it came off. The I mean, it could have floated. I mean, there's a. The it's coming off the bridge thing is so far fetched, but I mean, it does happen. But there's a convenient walkway right there, and there is a. It, yeah, a yellow. Drifted, right? There is a yellow block. Throw on the live scan. I guess we'll live scan it. Oh my gosh, it is a car. There's no way that's not. A, that's definitely that's an upside down oh, vehicle. Yeah. Wow. What is that doing right there? Holy smokes. That is a crazy spot for a car. That is, yeah. Upside down. Damn. So which way are you aiming at? Like right there, eight, ten feet? Dude, it's like right in front of that pillar. It's like right there. I mean, it might have floated down. It, it, I mean, it floated down from that road right there or came up the bridge. 100%. We are so far from the vehicle, too. No, looks like you get to dive on something. We need to definitely. How deep is it? Twenty-five? Not bad. No, oh, high up. It's such, a, it's, a, it's such a strange slant. I might be sitting on something. But... Well, that's we definitely found a, a car. Like we were saying, that's a car. We've been out here for hours and hours and nothing, and then all of a sudden, bam. It's a wild spot. Like they, I, you could have definitely driven off up there. I'm guessing that's the case. There is like a yellow. It's crazy. It's like right in front of this pillar though. Cause it had to make its way around this pillar and then settle right there. Yeah. It's not a truck. It's a car. What was she driving? She was driving a red Celica. I mean, it could be. I don't think there's really any. I don't know. I don't know. This is a new car. I've never. I've talked to the rescue guys in town. I don't, they never said anything about this one. Oh, we got, we, well, 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 well. Looks like I'm going swimming. Looks like you're gonna die on 63 degrees, it's not bad. This is on what this thing is. It's a four well, it door? Oh, it looks, four door. It looks like a four door. That's a pretty good image right there. It is. So here's the thing about that one. Don't like her. Her car is a weird shape, and it was That's a two-door. It looks like an old. It's like a. It's like your typical car. Yeah, it's like a basic car. That's like that. That yeah, that's a car. Yeah, there's no denying that. <laughs> that is so cool. It's right there. That's like right in front of that pillar. It's crazy. Oh yeah, we got to get the story behind this car. All right, we just took out and went all the way back up to the closest ramp to the vehicle. Now we're heading down. And Jeremy's gonna be diving on it today. I didn't bring my camera. That sucks. What about you? Yeah, doing? I'm diving. Did you bring your GoPro? Uh, it's on my mask. Oh, okay. So. This should be a pretty quick dive, and I know there's some weather coming up through here, some storms, so we're gonna try to just get this knocked out and cleared. I'm assuming it's just a stolen or, or dumped vehicle, but you never know. So if there is a license plate, we'll probably, you know, we'll report that to the police if it's anything fishy like that. I would say we'll try to pull it out, but that road is blocked off. And it's, we have to float it. It looks like somebody probably drove it down the walking path. Yeah, but there's like a, an orange co like concrete uh, pillar yeah. in the way. Either that or it's really old, or it did come off the bridge. It might have come off the bridge. I mean, that's, it's a weird spot though. We'll find out. Let's head down here. All right, we are back out here. We've got the big magnet. We're going to hook this thing on the car. It says 20 feet. Uh, we'll see. It's 20 feet earlier. Now I don't know what it is. I think this rope is way too long. <laughs> Dude. What are you doing, man? Why did you do that? Well, I'm trying to get on the car. I'm trying to, trying to kill you. Where are your sea legs? Are you holding on? I say it's a Dodge Nitro, by the way. Oh. It's a perfect link. I mean, there's not much current. That should be fine. It's not on really, really well. Now get ready. Let's suit up.
talk to me. Ready to go. <laughs> you hot? Yeah. You cold? Hot. Uh, a little bit of both. What do you think this car is? I don't know. I can tell you in about 10 minutes. Oh, uh, yeah? All right. Well, <laughs> we're going to get to it. This might be a short live stream. But uh, let's push you over there. You're standing on this fancy uh, scuba rack. It's pretty cool. I'm on my knees. I'm not that short. <laughs> <laughs> Those are his air bubbles coming up right there. So he's at the car right now. Oh, cool. Oh, we got a Volkswagen deal. Red. Picking up a lot of mud. Definitely. I'd say it's a red Volkswagen Beetle. You got a tag number. Kinda cool. Guys, you seen this thing? It might be a Volkswagen. Jeremy might have called it. That shot I had a second ago looked so round. I think that's a Volkswagen. Here's a VW. Which is funny because we've been talking about wanting to, wanting to pull one out. Let me guess. It's a Beetle. No. Nope. Volkswagen? No. Nope. Fiat? No. Nope. Ah. Is it old? Oh, it up. There it goes. Huh? All right, I lied. It is a red Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, comp oh my God, look. Head to toe in zebra muscles. Like, there is not one piece of this thing. That's why the sonar was so good, because there's none of the car showing. It's all muscles. All and it's been down there a long time. Windows are down, or the front windows are down. Uh, red, got the tag. That's about it. Does that mean but, I get uh, to punch you? Huh? Does that mean I get to punch you? No, because I told you the color. <laughs> I told you before you said it. You just said Volkswagen. It doesn't count. Oh, uh, well. Man, I hit that thermal climb and I was like, Thermals! <laughs> it got cold at the bottom. How was the viz? Great. The second I got down there, I mean, I could see the car a good five, ten like, feet away. I was like, oh, there it is. But there's yeah. no current, so like I was being real careful. Sure Should we pull out. this one out? Someday. I mean, but... We've been talking about wanting to get a, uh, a Beetle. Not we'd have to float it. That's the only way to get it out. Yeah. But I mean, it's upside down, it'd be super easy to float. But it is so covered. <laughs> but that'd be cool. We never dove on a beetle, have you? No, first beetle I've ever seen. So, uh, yeah, there you go. 
My confidence has been has been boosted a little bit. Oh yeah. Because I it c couldn't breathe easier in that thing. Really. And like I don't know if yours was the same way, but like when you crack this open to breathe on the side, yeah, it would still go through this sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like you had to breathe carefully or breathe through your nose. Now if that's open, this doesn't work. If you guys are wondering what he's talking about, we just got our masks serviced, which you're supposed to do. Yes, I've been getting tons of comments on how it sounded horrible. Was it quieter? I don't, I don't, I mean it sounded like it should, but it didn't sound like a screaming woman, you know? So, that's what everybody's saying, it sounds like a screaming woman, it sounds like Darth Vader. Yes. Wildlife resources, I guess he's got somewhere to go. Probably got somewhere to go, he was looking at us though, but he probably saw the boat and they're like, oh, that's official. <laughs> it's, not, it's not some YouTubers out there dinking around in a boat that's barely registered. Uh oh, he's turning around. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I was like, dude! Well, at least we're live, this is gonna be fun. Pillar, you think it's, how, how many years old do you think this is? Very. 10? No, way more than that, way older. It's probably Three like, years? it's probably old as that dang yellow one we pulled really? out. Yeah. It's an old beetle. I mean, it's been there a long time. Did you get the uh, VW emblem off the front? No, it's upside down, so I couldn't. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get a hubcap off, but everything is rusted and seized up. But the, the the zebra mussels, ironically, preserve these cars in this area. Yeah, it so like, it's not really rusted. Like, well, I can move the mussels out of the way, think and I'm, you can you see the paint our, color. Uh, water pump. Well, they haven't seen our water pump. We got. That's, that's the secret. That's coming soon. Oh yeah. Maybe we could clean this off with our. I. Maybe. I mean, we can get an ice scraper. You know, like for windshields? <laughs> oh yeah, just go at it. Yeah. That was fun. What's the tag number? I have no idea. I just, I knew it was printed. So, I mean, we can, uh... Oh, on the other side you can see, yeah. Yeah, I guess 3J1L48. I don't know what state it came out of. I would guess Tennessee, but who knows. What are your thoughts on this car? I mean, I don't think it came off the bridge. I think it's been here for so long. Like there's probably an opening up here at some point or even down there and it floated down here. But uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's just an old abandoned car. I had a tag on it, windows are down. Battery's low is what it said. So, I'm, I don't know, I, I couldn't tell you. The best thing we could do is, is give the tag to the cops. If it's attached to any kind of missing people or a case, It'll come back. If not, it's probably going to be, you know, not on file, same as always. Yeah. So, well, we'll find out. On we'll to the next find one. out. On to the next one. What? Some wood. Some is floating in the water here. Oh, it's an old piece of wood. Dude, I swear this thing looked like it looked Man, like a dead I was animal. Man, I'm nervous for a second. I'm like, that looks. The way it was sitting still, floating. That's just a strange color too. I could not tell that it was a log. Giant fish up there. No, the so we're heading back to the boat ramp now. Uh, well, I guess I can wrap up the video here. You know, we found that bug. That was pretty cool. You dove on that. So Good. I guess next time it's my turn. Uh, but that was awesome. We've never found a beetle before. Yeah. So, but we searched a lot today for Regina. Uh, we found the car instead, but we confirmed that there's no missing person inside, right? You got a good, pretty good look. Mmm, ish. I the mean, windows it, were down, right? The front windows were down, and uh, from what I could tell, I, mean, I reached in and grabbed a few things. When, <laughs> I, it's a phobia. I can't go in there. I, I mean, at least there's no current, so I was like, ah, well, you could look inside a little. Bit. I did. I didn't see anything in there. But we got the tag, so if there's anything, uh, you know, we're gonna contact the police. I might not have that in this video today, but if there's any updates, I'll put that next for you guys. But we appreciate y'all's support watching us going out week after week searching and trying our best to find the missing and uh, help out these families across the country. So thank you guys for watching. We will see y'all on the next one. I remember we saw it coming through We saw here. something driving over here. The road is right here. It's right there. I don't, dude, 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 dude. That's a freaking upside down car.